And what's going on everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get Gacha Y2K mod. So this is like the newest um, mod for Gacha. And I'm gonna show you guys how to get it on both iOS and Android. As you can see, I do have it installed here on my iOS device. It's called Gacha Y2K. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up. So when you first open it up, it says Gacha Y2K mod. Enjoy playing the new Gacha Y2K mod developed by Dark Ride. So he's like the developer. And I'm just gonna go ahead and tap okay. And as you can see, we're in the game. Now, I'm not actually going to go ahead and show too much gameplay in this video. I actually just want to show you guys that it does work. But now I'm actually going to go ahead and show you guys how to go ahead and actually download um, the Gacha Y2K game, the new mod, onto your iOS or Android devices. Super, super easy, guys. This would probably take you like a couple of minutes to set up and then you'll be good to go and be able to start playing. So how exactly do we get the game? Well, it's very easy, guys. What you're going to do is first we have to just change some settings really quick. On our iOS devices, if you're on Android, you don't have to change any settings. It's only for iOS that you have to do this step. But if you are on iOS, what you guys will do is open up your settings app on your iOS device. And what we're going to want to do, guys, is open it up, right? And then you're going to first scroll all the way down and go to battery. And then in battery, what you guys will do is you will see this option that says low power mode, right? And what you're going to do here is just simply go ahead and make sure that you have low power mode turned off guys so very simple make sure you have low power mode turned off exactly like how i have it right there and then once you guys do that you're going to be good to go and also make sure that you have at least um 10 battery on your iphone guys so you have to have at least 10 battery for this to work so keep that in mind guys at least 10 battery and then once you do that what we're going to want to do next guys is exit from battery but now scroll up a little bit and you will see general so go ahead and tap on general and then in general, what we're gonna do guys is scroll all the way down and you're going to see background app refresh. And what you guys will do here is just simply tap on it. And then in the top here, you're gonna tap on it again. And then you're going to see like a couple of options. And what you guys will do is just simply make sure that you have background app refresh turned on to either Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi and sell your data. So either one is fine guys, but just make sure you have it turned on to one of those. And then once you guys do that, that's gonna be all the settings that we have to change there. We're gonna exit from there. And you're gonna stay in general still because now there's gonna be one more thing you have to do here. So you're gonna scroll up a little bit and you're gonna see this option that says about guys all the way in the top. It's gonna to say about, select it. And then in it, you guys will see this option that says iOS version. And what you guys will do is just simply make sure that you're running iOS 11 or above on your iPhone that you're using. So you gotta be above iOS 11 guys or higher for it to work. So keep that in mind guys, make sure you're above iOS 11. Uh, as you saw, I was on iOS 16.2, so I'm good to go. And then once you guys do that, what we're going to want to do now is exit from general. And there's two more things that we have to go ahead and check. So now you're going to scroll down and you're going to see App Store. Go ahead and select it. And then in App Store, you guys will scroll down and you're going to see offload unused apps, guys. And what you're going to do here is just make sure that you simply have offload unused apps turned off. So as you guys can see, I have it off right now. And that's what you're going to want to do. Just turn it off. And then once you turn it off, what you're gonna to wanna to do now, guys, is scroll down a little bit and you're going to see Safari, okay? So select Safari. And then in Safari, what you guys will do is scroll all the way down over to Advanced. So you're gonna scroll all the way down until you find Advanced. And then you're gonna select it and then you're going to see JavaScript option. You're just gonna to wanna to make sure that you guys have JavaScript enabled, super, super simple. Just have JavaScript enabled, guys, just like that. And then, that is going to be all the settings that we have to change on iOS. So now that we've done that, we are now ready to install the Gacha Y2K app or the Gacha Y2K mod. So how do we get it? Well, it's pretty simple, guys. Go ahead and open up your browser on your iOS or Android device, and you're going to go to the search bar, okay? So open up the search bar at the bottom, and you're going to type in get your app. So getyourapp.net, guys. So that's what you're going to want to type in into the uh, search bar on your browser getyourapp.net um so that's how you spell it guys getyourapp.net make sure you spell it correctly super important um and yeah i'll, I'll even leave like the com uh, the website url in the pinned comment down below uh and but i'll have like spaces in it so you just have to remove the spaces but yeah guys that's the site that you have to use in order to go ahead and get the app it's gonna have the instructions on it and just follow it and then uh, after that, you should be good and you will have, you know, got your Y2K installed. So thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions, let me know down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.